What's going on my dudes? One Step here showing you how to do brutalities in Mortal Kombat 1. Take it one step at a time. Brutalities in Mortal Kombat 1 can seem a bit weird at first because you're thinking like, oh, fatality, I, all I gotta do is an input, you know, forward, back, forward, one at the end of the fight, and then I'll do a fatality, but what and how do I do a brutality? I am gonna be using Raiden today to show you guys examples because I had the most brutalities unlocked for him to show you more examples so that way you can get a really good grasp on how to do brutalities. Also, my dudes, go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is gonna be the universal language that we use so that everybody understands what inputs we're talking about here. So the first thing you wanna know is brutality Brutalities most of the time have requirements. I mean, first of all, every brutality's requirement is gonna have at least one, and that requirement is the hit that is the brutality is gonna be the last hit of the match. That's how you end fights. You need your brutality move, for an example, for Raiden, our down back three here. We have to make sure whether we're doing it in a combo or standalone, that the last move of the fight comes from that move. That's the first requirement for all brutalities. But as you see here for our simple uppercut brutality, the classic brutality, we have to hold two during the hit. And of course, the other requirement, the final hit must be from down two, which is the uppercut. So if you're in a fight and you're at this point and you're like, oh my gosh, my opponent has so low of health that surely if I do an uppercut, it'll be the last hit of the match. That's the first thought process you have to have. You have to think, okay, will my combo be enough to finish off my opponent's health to zero, allowing me to end the fight in a brutality? And in this case, I would say, duh, yeah, of course. Because for those that don't know, uppercuts do 140 damage. And you can see your opponent's health up there. So if you see your opponent at 140 or less, you can assume, okay, my uppercut's at least gonna be the last hit of the match. And all I gotta do is hold the triangle button, the two button during that hit. So right here, we're in a fight and you're gonna see that our opponent's health is less than 140. So I know automatically, okay, my uppercut is gonna be enough for the final hit. All I gotta do is hold the button and it's gonna do a brutality. And here's how that might look. All we did was hold the button down as the uppercut was going. The other side note, your opponent cannot be in the air for that brutality. Like for an example, if they're falling down from the air from an air combo, you can't do the uppercut from the air. They'll just go flying. They have to be on the ground. It doesn't say that in the description. I wish it would for the advanced view and show the requirements. Like say, hey, opponent has to be standing, but that's just a small note. So our opponent right now is less than 140 damage. So I know that if I end with the uppercut move and hold, it'll do brutality. But if you, again, if you just to showcase you, if you try doing that in a combo when they're falling, it's it's not gonna happen. Here's what I mean. See, they're just falling from the air. It's not gonna do anything. As you can see here, most of the brutalities you're gonna see have the requirement of being the last hit, but also other requirements such as this one saying press one or two rapidly six times during the hit, or this one just holding up during the hit, or this one holding down during the hit. There's gonna be some form of requirement to do during the hit, usually along with it being the last hit of the match. Sometimes they'll have extra requirements like this one being must be a jump distance away and hold back during the hit. So sometimes the brutalities are a bit harder to pull off. They're a bit more situational especially in a fight when you have an opponent fighting back and everything trying to plan out and say okay i need to be jump distance away this needs to be the final hit i gotta hold back during this hit it can be a lot at first and you're not gonna hit it every game this brutality is more situational than all of the others so you probably find that you can do some brutalities more of the time than others for an example this overload our down back three all we gotta do is hold up during this hit make sure it's the last hit and we'll do a brutality and to show you how that one looks so to show an example we can actually use that move in a combo here it is as long as we know that does 150 damage and we can go okay as long as our opponent's beneath that and we know it's gonna be our last hit we can make that our brutality we can even do that in longer combos as well like this see how that last hit was our down back three you can make that a brutality so our opponent's at 170 health so i know if i do a long combo end with that move and hold up during it as long as it's the last move that I do, it'll be brutality. So here's how that might look in a long combo. Okay, we're gonna, no, we know it's the last hit. We're gonna do our combo here. And last hit, hold up, and in doing so, the brutality will activate. So you saw how the fight technically ended during my combo. Long combo, okay, we're gonna, no, we know it's the last hit. We're gonna do our combo here. But I was able to still continue to make sure that the last hit of the fight was technically my down back three electric field move. And then in doing so, hold up and the brutality activates. Now the timing on holding up during that move is a bit weird at first. You have to find your rhythm. Like I found that's not wise to like do down back three, hold up. 
I mean, you probably could, but I found it best to do down back three, let it hit, and then press up and hold it. And the brutality for me activates almost every single time. But when they have a requirement like that, you want to mess around with the timing and you'll get it down. I'm sorry I can't show you every single brutality in the game. There's so many to go through and so many requirements that a lot of these moves have. But I hope this at least helped you gather a basic understanding of how brutalities work and how to do them. And if it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe here for more fighting game content. Turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing. I'll see you in the next one and make sure to take it one step at a time.